So I've made this really rather very crude arbor. It's just from an old angle grinder that was broken. Uh, it's got a 12 millimeter shank on it that I'm going to fit into the mill chuck. Will the mill fly to pieces? Let's see. When you need extremely accurate parts, it's hard to be a proper surface grinder, but not everyone has one and I don't have the room for one either. Okay, here's the setup. We've got a truing tool that's meant for a whetstone. I don't know how well it's going to work here, but we'll give it a try. I think it's diamond. We'll just run that up and down, see what we get. Dressing the stone makes it more concentric with the arbor and to some degree balances it, making it a lot less terrifying to up the speed. Looks right, I think that actually worked. We are using a rather large, rather fine grit stone here, which makes the surface speed somewhat acceptable when the mill is set to its maximum RPM. You can see here the amount of grit and particles being shot out by this process. So the shop vac is definitely a recommended accessory for this one. And you can kind of rig it up so that it's there catching the sparks. This whole thing actually worked way better than I thought it would. There's lots of different orientations you could grind in on the milling machine. To mimic a more traditional surface grinder-like position, you can use a cup wheel in the chuck. And there's a great video by Joe Pizetsky where he shows this technique. Normally the part that you're surface grinding wouldn't be rotating like this, but the principles are all the same. You would just use the axis of your mill to cause the motion. This part mounts to the rotating ball nut on the CNC machine we're building, and it needed to be concentric to the bearings and housing, so it was just convenient to grind it like this.